There has been an absolute whirlwind of announcements from Kanye and the Vultures the past couple days with the release of Volume 1 on the horizon and just last night we got an insane Instagram story posting spree from Kanye that fully outlines his vision and current plan for the Vultures world tour we previously heard about. I love Leaky! Just a quick reminder, I'm hosting a live stream here on YouTube for the Chicago Listening Party this Thursday starting at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Now, we've known Kanye and Ty were planning some sort of Vultures tour with the digital pass ticket listing on Yeezy.com, and Ty actually verbally confirmed the plans to Aiden Ross on stream, but this is the first time we've heard anything directly from Kanye himself, and oh boy, we heard quite a lot of things. This entire fiasco started with Kanye selling out the United Center for his new Vultures listening party this Thursday, which prompted him to post a video to his Instagram. Yo, this Ye, we just sold out the United Center in seven minutes, and I just wanted to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this. It's the only arena that I had access to in the past year, and when I call, people say there's no avails for me, and you know why that is. So if there's anybody out there that can help with this, please do essentially pleading his peers to assist in setting up more arena events as within the past year he was only able to get availability from the United Center due to his end of 2022 controversies and following this video things really started popping off. Kanye then made two Instagram story posts, with one of them being his text conversation with Freddie Gibbs, who was saying he could get Kanye connected with Petco Stadium in San Diego, and the other one being a group chat between him, John Monopoly, and one other person, where a Google spreadsheet outlining the current tour plan was sent. Now, before I get into the spreadsheet, I think it's important to note that none of these dates are set at all, and this is very, very likely just a schedule concept as the tour is still in the planning stages. According to this Google Sheet, the North American tour leg would begin on June 22nd in Toronto, Ontario and end on August 3rd in Mexico City, while the international leg would begin on August 17th in Madrid, Spain and conclude on February 7th, 2025 in Tokyo, Japan. This in-progress schedule looks absolutely bonkers and even if we only end up getting half of these tour dates in the end, it would still be bonkers. The tour starting in June of this year is likely because Kanye is planning on rolling out all three Vultures volumes up through the beginning of April, so that gives him a a nice buffer between when all the Vulture stuff is concluded and when he would be looking to start the North American tour leg. Following these posts, Kanye showed us another message from Freddie saying he could get Kanye linked up with SoFi Stadium in LA, and then after that he showed another offer from a different person letting him know that they could help set up venues in New York City. After this, Yes Jules stepped in to flex her connections to apparently major historical landmarks by telling Ye places like the Great Wall of China and the Pyramids of Giza would love to have him. Of course, Kanye took Jules up on the offer to set up calls for these venues, as I'm sure anybody would, but bruh, come on. The Great Great Wall of China, there's no fucking way Kanye would swing that and I would absolutely eat my shorts if it ends up happening, but it just sounds so ridiculous. Kanye then got another concert offer from Galaxy Arena in Hong Kong, with that same person also mentioning an offer located in Anaheim, California as well. It seems then Ye had enough fun getting flooded with people offering to set up calls as he then deferred all booking contacts to his event manager, the Kara Lewis Group. This concert production company actually manages several high-profile artists close to Ye like Travis Scott, Pusha T, Mike Dean, and Don Tolliver, so really it's a perfect pairing. To close out the offers Kanye revealed publicly, he got got a text from his good old buddy Ty Dolla Sign, who mentioned the Neil Blaisdell Arena in Honolulu, Hawaii as a possible option, which would be absolutely insane. Not only the Hawaii stuff, but like just all of this is insane. And like I said before, if we even get only a handful of real tour dates from any of these locations, I think it would be momentous, considering a year ago we didn't think Kanye would ever tour again after he did not do ones for Ye slash Kids See Ghosts, Jesus is King, or Donda. But maybe dope-ass venues like the Pyramids of Giza are exactly what Ye needs to get his tour pants back on, and I'm unbelievably curious to see what comes of all of these story posts in four to five months' time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and let me know down in the comments which tour location you are the most hyped for.